Folks, Joe and Sal here from the Taste Buds Podcast. We are doing our very first live, live stream, stream episode. Live stream episode. When? May 10th? May 10th. Mark your calendars. Tickets are going to be available soon for pre-sale. There's going to be a ton of surprises. There's going to be guests. There's going to be a premiere that night of... Should we tease it? Not yet. Okay. Not yet, but a it's premiere a big of something. One. It's a, a big one. Something. Yeah, something very big. We've been teasing it for a while. It's coming finally. The live stream, May 10th. Also, merch is still available for the Taste Buds Podcast. Go and get you some. Uh, it's available at my website, JoeDeRosaInfo.com. Or SalVolcanoComedy.com. And also, we are both on the road doing live dates. We've got tons. We've only got time to name a few. I Next coming up will be in Michigan in several cities. Uh, and then also in Illinois for several cities. And in New York at the Crane Theater. Anyway... Just check out my website, joederosainfo.com, for all the info on that. Plus, Joey Rose's, Riverton Street, Manhattan. Joey Come Rose's. get a sandwich, affordable, great. Sandwiches and drinks. I'm on the road with the guys. Uh, this is our first tour since before the pandemic, our fifth international tour. Tickets are on sale right now at impracticaljokerslive.com. There's tons of cities and tons more will be added. Next up, March 24th in Green Bay, the 25th in Milwaukee, the 26th in Rosemont. Then we're going to Seattle and Portland in April, as well as Bangor, Maine, and Boston again. And then later on, so forth, it's... It's uh, a lot of Ohio, a lot of Texas, uh, two in St. Louis, and PracticalJokersLive.com. Brand new episodes of Impractical Jokers every Thursday night at 10 o'clock on TBS and True TV, season 10, out right now. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking. Folks, welcome to T-A-S. I said B-A-T-T-L-E. Oh, wow. All right. Do it. Let's, no, roll with it. Do it again. Okay. B-A-T-T-T-A-S-T-E buds. <laughs> but taste buds. Yeah. Very good. Today. It's good to see you, buddy. As well. I feel like we didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to I like your you Aztec uh, forward uh, cardigan. Oh, really? I see this more snowflakey, Christmassy. Maybe a hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of wore it today because I was like, this is kind of it. I leave tomorrow to do some shows in Louisiana and, and, and then Austin, so it's all Southern. And I was like, when I get back from that, we're going to be pretty well into March, and it'll still be chilly, but I think this is kind of the last, your last licks. window for a sweater that feels this seasonally. Mm -hmm. Seasonal. I like how you um, dress up casual. You dress up a casual outfit. I like that. I like to... You're in between, and I, and I like that. It's the versatility of it. Is I... I, I exclusively wore cardigans for a long long time yeah i got i got actually got labeled as a guy who only wears cardigans i like to look like a man who knows what he wants and knows who he is mm. and i believe how that, does this look make you feel like you know what you want i, don't know, I was just being funny okay yeah okay. I, I uh i also believe that the listener can hear what you're wearing they can really hear it. they can hear it mm. i learned that from the walter winchell movie did you ever see that movie starring walter. stanley tucci what what's it about? It's about Walter Winchell. No, but what's the name of the movie? Winchell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see it. About the great uh, news reporter Walter Winchell, the godfather of gossip, the first ever. Uh, oh, he spawned that whole thing, like the page he six? He kind of is like the original, yeah. He was like Howard DMZ. Stern in the 40s or whatever. Really? Yeah, but uh, he, uh, but he, when he gets his big radio gig, the company, CBS, whatever it is, they buy him all this, like, they fit him for this new wardrobe. And he goes, who cares? They, nobody can see what I'm wearing. And they go, but they can hear it, Walter. They can wow. hear it. That stuck with you. Yeah, and I'm like, I mean, look, I'm not, like, all decked out today, but I just mean, like, I, I do believe that you should put yourself together a little bit. You know, maybe yeah. not show Because when I'm home, I'll do stuff in pajama pants. If I'm home three right. days in a row, I'm in pajamas for three days straight. Nah, I might I might throw on sweats after a shower, but I'm not in I'm in nothing but pajamas with sweats. I came to your house the other day. I was in my pajamas. You and full bed head. Yeah, you didn't even bother to be like it's you. I don't give a shit. I when so anybody's coming over, I check my hair. I do a, you know to an extent, but honestly, I was against the clock, and then I was just like, it doesn't matter to me. Good for you. I walk around with bed head. I'm home. I mean, what are you gonna do? Good you for you. Live your life. Yeah, I'm. Uh, so we all we all wake up. I feel as if I'm being judged at all times. At home? Oh yeah. Even when you're alone? Oh yeah. I think that who's judging you then? People like you that they're, they're somewhere else talking about me. Wow. You know? Whew, that's tough. 
<laughs> I have a question. When you're depressed, do you ever just dress up in your house like f- like you're going out but stay home? No. Oh, my God. I've never God, heard of no. that. Wow. I don't know. I tried it a few weeks ago. It I doesn't could, I, work. Oh, okay. Because it's uh, interesting. I was going to say, I could. I never thought of that. Would you put on? as you said it, I was like, wow, that might help. I put on a corduroy and a sweater. Yeah, I was going to say, Pimp, what is dressing up for you? <laughs> I'd love to see your pajamas. Because you, you, actually, you talk about versatility. Your outfit is good for 24 hours a day. You can go to bed in that. It'll look like pajamas. Go to dinner in that. It'll look like go to a nightclub. Like, I go to the gym like this. I go to the gym in corduroys. It's funny. Yeah. What is your pajamas? Uh, I think V bought them. They're like weird, colorful fleece pajamas. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's how I see it. Um, I My mom told me a story about when they were when she was young and her brother, my uncle, who's rest in peace, he's gone. But it this it it broke my heart. To this day, it breaks my heart. She said he would get he would save up his money that he made working his after school job or whatever, and he would buy suits. Saturday night suits to like you know get dressed up and go on set. She goes, and then he'd get all dressed up in his suit, but then he would have nowhere to go, and he would just sit on the couch and watch TV in his suit. And it would now he eventually got married and had a family, and everything. <laughs> so it, it worked out. It worked out, but like it really, it was it devastated it, it, me. It, it gives a peek into your lineage, though. It's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say something that DNA didn't make its way to you. Well, I'm adopted. Okay, behaviorals. But yeah, it, 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 and I swear to God to this day, if I, because I have like gotten showered and gotten dressed and then decided like, eh, I don't think I feel like going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Sometimes and when you, I do you that, I'll shower for the motivation. Yeah, but I'll force myself to go out. When I do that, because that story of my uncle makes me so sad that I'm like, I can't sit Turn a negative into a positive. Yeah. And, you know, who are we kidding? I'm a man about suits. town. You know I always got a place yeah. I can go. Yeah. They know my name. You're a man about town. <laughs> Everybody you knows are. my name Everybody somewhere. Knows your name, yeah. <laughs> L-E-S. <laughs> sure. I need a pop. I go into Joey Rosen's. Yeah. They shake hands with a few fans. I get a free sandwich. Sometimes we go bar hopping. <laughs> Off men. We'll go bar hopping. You'll take me like four, five, six bars. Everybody knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I ever wanted. <laughs> well, you got it. You got it. Uh, the uh, what you do in L.A.? L.A. is not that type of place. Uh, if you believe it or not, complained a lot. <laughs> uh, but you couldn't be you over there. Not, I, not this version. I swear to God, uh, my crew of people that I hung out with friends in L.A. Uh, some of them you know, uh, but they would say. They would say, when you leave town, we don't all hang out. Like, you're like, the you get it going. And they would also say, if I went on the road for a little while, I, when I'd come back, they would go, change. I haven't been this hungover. I wasn't hungover the whole time you weren't, you were gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but I was very proud of that. I was very, always very touched that they were like, no, you like, you like get the, the thing going. Yeah. You know, because I was always, because it was a lot of, I hung I out. I try with, to be that as well. You do. Yeah. I hang out with a lot of couples out there. Because couples, that's kind of a big thing out there. And, uh, like, more... <laughs> I realize that's a weird sentence. Yeah. But New York, you know what I mean. In New York, you can go out with couples. In New and, York! Yeah. And as the s- death sirens go by. The, uh, you could In New York, you can go out almost anywhere and see a good amount of single people. Th- of all ages. L.A., it is not like that. It is It is a lot of couples. Like, it just is. Like, it's it's just it's just different. It's a very suburban type city. So most of my friends were in relationships, so I was always like, come on, we all got to go to here, and we got to do that, because I was like, I'm still trying to have sex, everybody. Like, right. let's go. Like, right, right. let's get a party going, you know? So, uh, hmm. um, but, you know, it was, it was, I spent a lot, I don't think I ever told you this story, I remember I moved from Echo Park to Atwater Village. And Atwater Village was my favorite place that I ever lived when I was in L.A. Where's that geographically? It's next to Glendale. Mm -hmm. Uh, And it was the most like New York you could get because it was like you could, there were like coffee shops around. You could walk to stuff and and there were some cool dive bars and stuff like that. So um, I liked Atwater a lot, but I go... I, I had gotten in this habit in L.A. because I was so depressed. I would just buy things all the time. I would just constantly be buying. Retail therapy, babe. 
Yeah, like collecting things that I didn't. And I remember I said to Kurt Braunholer when I moved to Atwater Village, I go, uh, I just realized how depressed I am <laughs> or I've been. And he's like, how? And I go, I have a trash bag full of He-Man figures. It's <laughs> 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 like, dude, what am I doing? Because I would like literally like I would walk in Echo Park when I lived there. And I would just like my goal for like just to, to get out of for the day would be to walk to the comic book store. And I would like buy an action figure because I was just like there. So it made me feel like I was doing something. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was like just stand up was so much lesser there. Yeah. You know, you can, you write, but you only write for so long. Right. And then, like, you know, it was just like there was so, I feel like LA was so much downtime, man. If you weren't like on a show or something like that. How long were you there? Like five years. Yeah. Oh, God. And then I would come back here. And go to like Big J's Fourth of July rooftop party, right? And everybody would be there. Yeah, that's where I would start seeing you. Yeah, but we started becoming like more like friends or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, man, like people do this. Like, there's like, <laughs> like comedians. But you came out. from here. I know, but you you would forget because yeah. you go there. Like, there's no the store. The store has club hangs there. There's no camarade. Except for the, the comedy store, you could get a club hang going a little bit. But even that, it would break apart quickly and early. There wasn't the thing there with comedians where they all hung out. And it's kind well, of going away here. Like it's what, going at, away here. I got news yeah. for you. At what year did you know you wanted to move, but you stayed? Like, you hate, did you hate it every single year? I didn't. The first year, I was unhappy. Well, you were like, I'm an L.A. guy now. Yes. For th the first year, I was unhappy, and then Joey LA, all like, these <laughs> things started happening. I started booking all the stuff. I started getting all this stuff, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's why you move here!" And I was like, "Oh, I'm on my way." Like, LA is great, and three years of that to the day, it just stopped. Which is what happens out there. It'll just stop, and then you have to coast, and you have to keep your sanity. And when it stopped, I started to be like, I don't think I like this place. Because I had time to, like, sit and live in that place. Yeah. And everybody would say, you know, Bird always go, Compa compared to where, DeRosa? Compared to where? It sucks ever. You know what I mean? Like, that was kind of everybody's attitude. Like, this is as good <laughs> as anywhere else. And I was like, yeah, I guess. But, like, eventually I was like, no, I, I, I disagree. I don't like this as much as anywhere else. I don't. Nothing against people that like it. I just, I was like, I just didn't like the day to day. Yeah, I don't know a lot of people that moved out there and moved back. It's Mark vibes. Ma Mark Marin put it best. When I was moving back, he goes, "I hear you're pussing out, man." And I was uh -huh. like, "Yeah, I'm just kind of done, I think." And I was like, "I just miss New York, you know. I miss walking outside and seeing people." And he goes, "Yeah, man, you can't walk outside here and get that charge." And I was like, "That's exactly what I've been trying to." That's the sentence I've been trying to formulate for six years out here. I, I don't, yeah, I'm like, it's just something's just different. And it and that thing missing doesn't work for me. Not all the time. There are times I feel like I could live in L.A. Now part you're back time. with a vengeance. You came out to the Lower East Side and planted a flag down there. Yeah, now I'm stuck here. I can't leave. Now you're a neighborhood face. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I saw a cartoon the other day that was a complete ripoff of Mr. Rogers. Like, like, legit, so much so that it had to be, they had to have sanctioned it. I was like sitting there and I'm like, What do you mean it was a ripple? Like, what, it was, what like, was it? It was like a fox or something. And he was like, It's a beautiful day. And then he put on his shoes and he, the trolley and all that stuff. And I was like, this Everything's is, being remade. They rebranded Barney. All that stuff's going to come. How do you rebrand Barney? They made it like a cartoon. But like, it's still a purple dinosaur? Yeah. But it's like, you know, polished. It's still the same theme song? I think so. No joke. So there's this thing called auto psychos like psycho auto correction. Something that the government used to use as a torture technique when they would play the same music over and over and over to drive someone insane. And there's documented cases of it. And they did it to get the cult out of there in Waco and a few other places. And I forget which one, but they used the Barney theme song. Uh, as a torture technique that they played over and over and over and blasted it in some scenario. See, look at this. The top 20 songs. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, which Britney song? Maybe one more time. Oh, that's not so bad. Bo yeah. I love bodies. I, I, I wouldn't be upset no, about but that. Body. Not hearing that dude over and over and over and well, over. I feel like any song over and over and over would be a torture song, wouldn't it? I guess Enter Sandman? Of Raspberry Beret? I don't know why. <laughs> there it is. 
Like, like the Barney one is 100%. very obvious. Like, right. you right. know, but it's a of, like how do Eminem and Britney and Christina in there? Like Aguilera, Dirty. I am not mad at it. Bee Gees, Babylon. Really? Beautiful people's the best Marilyn Manson song. Yeah, but ah, oh, oh. you know what I mean. I can see it. What scars of the crucifix? Is that Marilyn Manson? <laughs> decide a song called "Fuck Your God." Who's decide? I don't. Know. How'd they make that list? Uh, <laughs> yeah, like meow mix. Yeah, meow, yeah. Meow, meow. Is that meow, 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 meow? I can see that, man. That's right off the bat, like David Gray Babylon. I once wrote like twenty pages of a script listening to nothing but that song on loop. What? Yeah, I don't know why. What song is that? David Gray Babylon. But what is it? It's like a acoustic guitar song. I'm blanking though. Sing it. Uh, I think it's like go your way, go your way. The band. Ugh, I hate songs like this. Oh you know God. it though, right? What was, this, what was the script about? It had nothing to do with the song. It's just okay. that the song was like easy enough, easy listening enough. Like it came on one time, and I was like writing and i was like writing a lot and then the next song came on and it was jarring and so i just hit back and i kept writing and i was like oh this song's not bothering me so then i put it on loop and then i would every night when i used to come to to my desk to write again i just would put that on i don't know it was in this i don't love the song i don't know the guy nothing it's just completely it random so that song was so paul simony which yeah i hate yeah. oh god i hate that stuff yeah. i really wanted to run this video by you guys just to see Chicken see what you think run. I mean, is this food she's going to make now? Yeah. No. She's stepping on the ground. She's making uh, ramen in the back of the Come bed, on. Bed this is just truck. for views. Is it, I mean, who's... What does this even mean? It's almost lunchtime. we got to hurry. Where are we going? Why would Where are we going? You'll see. You'll see. Tell me she's going oh, like a tailgate. Oh, it's cooked perfectly. How'd she cook it? Okay. Okay, let's go. So it's cooked and then dumped in? Hey, man. This is a joke. So we, you hungry? Do you need any food? We have, we have, we just Why made, you just go. No way. No fucking way. Do you need any food or anything, man? Uh, they stopped on the side of the road and they're feeding bucks? a homeless man. 20 bucks. I mean, we don't have, we don't have 20 bucks, but we have, we have some ramen noodles we can give you, man. Hey, there you, you go, noodles? man. Yeah, hey, they're actually hey, back in the truck bowl? bed. You want a second They're fresh, bowl? they're hot. We just made a ton of ramen noodles and we're, we're just driving we're around just, giving it to people it's oh. it's people that yeah, just so just views. honestly just go back and just yeah, I don't there's not even going to be a payoff there's not even going to be there's going to be nothing it's literally Ooh. people that just yeah, want give, views give it a try just go back there and grab yeah, it myself. just go back oh my god thank you yeah and they want us to believe this is real enjoy, enjoy the noodles what the fuck that's such uh, a, I mean maybe it is real I don't know 10.8 million views Look at this. Kind-hearted woman feeds hundreds out of her truck. They show one. <laughs> it's such a lie. That is such a lie. And the guy sitting there with a perfectly made cardboard sign yeah. in the park. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a props department sticker on the back of it. <laughs> uh, like, why not literally give, like, self-served cup of noodles? Like, why make a, 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 a pickup truck cab full of... And where'd she make it? In her it's truck. A, it's insulting that she's trying to tell us that. How did she make it in the truck? You need hot water. She, Well, maybe she heated the water and filled it. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it got made. It's almost like disrespectful because that's going to waste. The water she's, must have been hot. It's completely going away. So you're wasting food. Come on. And and, and the irony is, is if, it, if it is just a joke, too, then you're really... You're really fucking like, you know, it's really fucking uh, 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 hypocritical. And it gets more views than like a sitcom. Yeah. We're in a That's bad shape. That's what I'm we're saying. In bad like- we're in bad shape. <laughs> no, we're in bad shape, man. Yeah. No, we're in it's bad terrible. shape. And it's, it's already begun and it's not going to end and we can't stop it. No. It's bad. It's bad. Buddy, I there's been... no, you don't need, there's no such thing anymore as cream rising to the top. There's no quality control, and then w- this is we're so saturated with this that the that younger people think that this is what entertainment is, and we're just dumbing ourselves down. To society. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to complain again, but I it's bleak. It Buddy, is I've bleak been saying this since '96. It's bleak. <laughs> <laughs> it's just horrible. 
No matter what happens, I love you, Tattoo. Look at that. That's Shout wonderful. Shout out. Oh, wait. This is, they came to my show. No, wait. <laughs> well, no, because a brother and sister came to my show and asked me to sign uh, something because they were going to get it tattooed on them. Ooh, wow. always a mistake. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think this was it because I think I wrote my name. Uh, well, to any of you that have any type of no pressure tattoos, taste buds, or anything else, thank you. It's a commitment. Yeah. Uh, it shows your love for the show. We appreciate you. I don't always think it's the right move because for obvious reasons, but it's very flattering and humbling, and uh, we do appreciate you guys. Send us pictures. I think it's a great move. I'm, you're not going to get any judgment from me. Yeah. Well, I have Jaden Smith on my thighs. So. Yeah. Live nothing, your life. Nothing here. Live your life, you know. German ice cream parlor introduces cricket-flavored scoops. Nah, I'm not going to do it. It's just dead crickets and ice cream. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't eat it. Have you ate insects at all? I well, I, you know what? I would eat it. I would try it. I would try it. I saw the high-end restaurants now are using ants a lot. Yeah. Ants yeah. Dishes. Yeah. I would, I would, it wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be excited to do it, but I wouldn't, like, bark from it. Hard pass. You know what I mean? I don't think I'd like it, but I don't, I don't think I would, like, get. Would you guys try some on air if I bought some? I would eat like a candied cricket or something. I'm, I, but like not like cockroach. Like no, there are no, certain no. bugs like where no worms probably not. You ever see them people eat those Madagascar cockroaches and like crunchy and then all the gooiness in them? Is middle? that what happens in Temple of Doom? Remember they eat uh, the I cockroaches think it happened on like like a Fear Factor or something. Yeah, know. yeah. Remember they eat the cockroaches in Temple of Doom? Yeah. But aren't they like related to lobsters or something? They feel the same to me. The same. Oh. Well, wait, what's inside the why It's crazy that we eat lobsters, too. Look at what they look like. Wow. It's just that it's been normalized. What's in the... You know, lobster started out as a very, very poor mm. food. Mm-hmm. It was like... It was, it was for it was for low-income people. It was not a delicacy in any way, shape, or form. Which I kind of don't understand how it is now because they're still... They're still in abundance. It's not a hard... You know what I mean? It's yeah. Not a, why is it so expensive? Yeah, it's very strange. Is it strange. in abundance, though? Lobsters? I, Why is that at that price point what then? What the hell was that? That was a weird buzz. <clears throat> Sorry, let me. Oh, you know. We're not in the <laughs> middle of anything. I'll tell you about it later. I'll tell you what's going on right now later. Is it like personal? No, but you'll understand. Okay. Um, The... uh. Where are we going here? I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke, and then I f- lost it. And I, like, I don't know. We got to get our energy up. Yeah, our energy sucks right now. I know. I'm like very comfortable. I know. I'm too comfortable. We got to replace this couch. Why? It's not comfortable. But you just said you're too comfortable. It, it like <laughs> you sink into it in the wrong way. Like it's not comfortable. I got to be honest. I can't but, see us replacing the couch. <laughs> you don't think so? Throwing this perfectly good couch out and spending money on another couch. Why would we have to throw it out? No, we just we just replace it. <laughs> Put this somewhere else. And where do we get the other couch? I'll take this couch. He wants the couch. Is this just your way of getting a free fucking couch? No. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. This is what no, I do. No, I with. don't like this couch. This is, you'll take the couch. No, no, no. I don't want the couch. I don't like this couch. But where are we going to get another couch? You know that there are stores that sell. You want to throw out this couch? We don't have and to throw it out. New couch. You got a whole expansion of rooms here. We can put it somewhere. What, what What is wrong with the couch? It's not a great couch. Look at the way the pillows <laughs> collapse oh when you're God. sitting on it. Like Pimp has said repeatedly, when we say we the we don't like the way we look in the videos, he'll go. I think it's the yeah. couch. I think I look pale. I look. I don't even. Maybe we get you a pillow for behind your back. Prop I am up a little. back against this thing. And no, but get you pillows and create a nice. Hey, I mean, look at this. This thing is just like it. Just <laughs> well, you're leaning on the pillow. You know, if you just sat back, it's gonna play like a couch does. We're all, you know, we're all getting all comfy on it. What's your dream couch? You sent us a picture of a couch, and we all said, "Oh, that's great." No, that was no, a cover for this cover couch. Bed. Yeah. Oh, well, that well, let's do that anyway. Okay. It's, yeah. <laughs> That's loud, and it's not going to fit nice. Oh, then nix it. Yeah, well, mind. we could do it, but it, if, it, if it fits exact, though, how's it going to fit exact? Yeah, we don't know. Sorry, DeRosa. Yeah, that's that's annoying. You could try it. I'd almost rather have two of these chairs. Do you want to hop to the chair now? You can go to the chair now if you want. 
I might want to go to the chair. <laughs> but almost that would look cooler. That would look cooler in front of the sign. It looks really this couch cool. doesn't look great. All right, hold on. Let me move. <laughs> it is better. It's already propping you up, yeah? Yeah, it's better. There's something about that thing, man. It's well, because like, you, you are comfortable, I think. Comfortable, but not... I mean, for me, it's only because this is my fourth... This is my fourth one today. I think I'm running a little bit out of steam, but normally I don't. I mean, normally I'm pretty good with the four. Right. But I think I'm I think I'm feeding I I will feed off your energy if you are higher energy and vice versa. We're probably we're probably putting ourselves into a cycle. There's you sink into that couch in not a good way. Like it's like it's it's I wouldn't use the word comfortable. I would you say it's a it's a tiring couch. I'm tired. Like you sit in it and it starts to pull. I feel like it extracts energy from you. Like a like a uh, energy vampire, like Colin Robinson. Uh, yes, 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 that sort of thing. So anyway, here's why I like Capri Sun. Wait, we, well, we didn't B A T T L A. Come on, babe. Come on, get yourself together here. I feel. I think it's saying that would would just make us know that we got to say it right now. Okay, we need salty though. We got to get. We come on. This is stupid. This is stupid. All right? You with me? Yeah, I'm right here. All right, we're going to do it. It's time to get salty. Oh, are we going to be ATTLE buds? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sal, what's going on with you, dude? Nothing much. Are you having some kind of, are you having some kind of sugar drop or something? No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I said we need to do a salty. You just moved to a different chair because you were dying. Yeah, it's a bad couch. <laughs> we need to do a salty. Okay. We got to get our... I, I get it. You want to insult me. I get it. No, we got to get our energy up. How's that going to get our energy up? Why, why wouldn't I love you get our energy up? Because it's too nice. Okay. You're already being coddled by that couch. Okay. You need, to, you need a little kick in your ass right now. Mm -hmm. I want, in fact, I want you to insult me first. All right. You ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can't tell if you're doing a bit or something right now. I don't know. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's weird, right? Am I wrong? He's being weird. What do you think the bit is, though? I don't know. I don't understand. We're all confused by you right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally just responding to you. I'm just, I, what am I, what, what, explain to me what you think I'm doing. We don't know. But then I don't, you can't even identify what you think is making you're you kind think of, that I'm doing you're, something. You're sort of just, Almost acting as if the cameras aren't rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's five cameras and on. You're me. going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not expounding. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm saying, meet me here. Are we doing the show? We're doing this, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. maybe he just feels alone on the big couch. Maybe. You abandoned me. All right. Uh, listen, that couch is no good. <laughs> Honestly, I think you get up off of it. I'm tempted to see if you get off. You come sit over here for a minute. I want to see if your energy changes. <laughs> come sit over here. I'm telling you, you're going to feel here, it go immediately. To this point, go to this point. It's time to B-A-T-T. <laughs> Don't you feel a spike? I certainly feel propped up more. Firm, higher, forward. See? Yeah, it's more of a position to have a conversation in. All right. Yeah, you sink into that. I get what you're saying. Totally. All right. Do you see the shift in energy you just had? I see the. I don't know if my energy is going to raise, but I do feel the difference in the couch and its application. You're speaking in full sentences now. That's a step in the right direction. Okay, all right. A minute ago, you were not. You were almost just making noises. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? We'll yeah. switch back and forth through the episode. <laughs> okay. All right? Yeah. All right, let's do a salty. All right. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. The more I know you, you think that you would become easier to deal with. <laughs> and it's it's just the ninth wonder of the world that is the exact opposite. The more I get to know you, the more difficult it is to navigate your waters. Okay. Fair. All right. All right. Fine. Fair enough. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was by the way, that was that was pretty mild. That was a great one. Okay. I thought it was great. Okay. Ready? Yes. It's, it's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. Enough with you being late.
Enough. <laughs> Enough. You were late today. Again, you're 48 years old. Get no, it I'm together. Not. <laughs> not 48. Get a watch. <laughs> I don't understand what the issue is. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm coming from another borough. Okay. Well, today I had uh, something. And I was probably 20, 15, 20 minutes late today. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, it's, you know. You get a day plan. Well, one one of the things, not the primary thing that made me late, but one of the things was my my Uber dropped after waiting for like seven minutes for it. So that was a that was a chunk, and then there was a little something else. Okay, but 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 sure, point taken. I I I've run late my whole life. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's it's actually a function of like my ADHD and stuff like that. So oh, uh, uh, part of it is I, I've been working on it with a the therapist. Okay, work harder. All right. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> the, <laughs> it's my insult. <laughs> <laughs> Notice his salty to me, right? He says, "Enough with it. You're 48. I'm not. You're 48. Uh, stop being on time." And I literally say, "You know what? I identified the reasons, and I actually have therapy. I'm working on what you just said." I tell him that it's harder and harder to deal with him the more I know him. No resolution whatsoever. No, not working I said on it. Fair enough. But you're not working on it. I'm, you aren't like I'm going to therapy for it. I'm not working on it. I'm in therapy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that was evident. <laughs> I didn't think I had to say it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm working on it. <laughs> I got to go home at six o'clock today so I can deal with the anxiety of leaving my apartment for three days tomorrow. Yeah, I'm working on it. Trust right. me, all right, all right. I'm going through it. Folks, Joe DeRosa here to talk to you about GameTime.co. GameTime.co. What is GameTime.co? Well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, you ever try to buy tickets to uh, maybe your favorite sporting event, and it's stressful, and it's a headache, and it sucks? Uh, yeah, well, it shouldn't be. Game Time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets to all sporting events, and not just sporting events, music events, comedy events, theater events, things that are happening near you that you want to go see. They've got killer deals on last-minute tickets with the best price guarantee, so you can stop stressing over getting the tickets and, and just focus on what you should be, which is getting ready to have a great time at the thing you want to go see. Uh, I, I like the GameTime.co I keep stressing that because it's not, it's C-O, all right? Get that right. Get that correct. But I like the game time experience uh, because I like that they're offering flash, uh, flash deals on last minute tickets. I like that it's easy to find and buy the tickets to every kind of event. And you're, I find that just locating tickets is hard sometimes. It's really hard sometimes. Like you got, you, you start Googling the person's name in the city or the event name in the city and then... And, and then you find links to things that aren't correct. And I don't know. I like that they're kind of putting it all under one roof for you, making it real easy to locate what's going on. And I also like a low price or lowest price, rather, guarantee. Uh, it's just it's a good service. So forget planning months in advance. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. That's also awesome. Do you ever buy a ticket way in advance because you're worried and then you get closer and you're like, well, what did I do? Game time, folks. Game time. You can also get images of your seat before you buy. That's pretty help helpful. Uh, so you know what to expect when you arrive. I've bought bad seats before. Uh, anyway, and buy a ticket in a matter of seconds. Two taps, you're set. That's it. This is easy. It's convenient. It's there to service you. It's there to help you get out to have the fun you want to have. So download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code TASTEBUDS. You're going to get $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, okay? But again, create an account and redeem the code TASTEBUDS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Folks, Joe DeRosa here coming to you from a very different angle in a very different room without wearing my glasses. Why? Because I want to talk to you about one of our favorite sponsors here at the Taste Buds Podcast, Factor. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. Get nutritious, chef-prepared meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you the time and energy to tackle everything you need to do on that lengthy to-do list. I've got a long one myself. Talking about the list, people. Don't go there. 
Anyway, I like Factor quite a bit. These are smart meals with about 550 calories or less. Uh, a lot of the times, I'm too busy to cook. I know you can relate to that. We all are. Uh, and you can get these great, amazing, delicious, never frozen meals that are ready in just two minutes. My favorite part is the never frozen part. Sometimes you'll buy a frozen meal because you're in a rush or something, and then cooking the frozen meal, number one, it's frozen, which is not great, but also then cooking the frozen meal is a pain. You're like, you got to cook it for six minutes, and then you got to take off the plastic from this part, and then stir this, and then put it in another seven minutes. You're like, I should just cook something from at that point. Anyway, factor. Never frozen, two minutes, ready to go, flavor-packed meal, meals, delicious, and things that can fit whatever your dietary needs are. Keto options, vegan and veggie options, uh, calorie smart, protein plus options. This is, these are, this is what you're going to get to choose from every week. 34 chef-prepared, dietitian approved weekly options. It's great. I like Factor. It, allow, it allows you to cut back on the takeout. It allows you to eat something that is decent for you to eat when you don't have the time to make it. Uh, and I also like that it's always the perfectly prepared portion. Uh, you eat it, you feel full, and you're ready to go. And by full, I mean satisfied. I don't mean like, uh, full. You don't want to feel like that. And you also don't want to feel like you needed to eat more. Factor's hitting it right on the nose. So here's what I want you to do. Head to factormeals.com slash tastebuds50. Use promo code tastebuds50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code tastebuds50 at factormeals.com slash tastebuds50 to get 50% off your first box. Box. All right, time to B A T T L E buds. Okay, folks, today we're doing high C versus Capri Sun. Uh. These are the champions of the children's juice drink market. Now I, I would know- throw in Hawaiian Punch from when we were little, but I don't think Hawaiian Punch, no pun, packs the punch today that I did when we were kids. I agree. As you said on the very first episode of Taste Buds, Hawaiian Punch went from how many ounces to how many ounces right under our noses. You point yeah. that out. Yeah, yeah. It dropped in quality, but. Hawaiian Punch is is in the fruit drink realm, obviously, but it stands alongside more of like the Sunny D's and that sort of thing. When I say the kids juice drink f- world, right, the reason I am saying it's these two, High C and uh, uh, Capri Sun. Capri Sun does the pouch. High C does the box. This is it, dude. This is it. If this you're is, taking these a, are two big ma- these are two giants. Now I will tell you this: High C. When I was little, though, I, I always remember it as a as a can, a big can that you had to plug that you had to open with a can opener on both sides and pour out. You know that. You know what's funny? I don't remember it ever being in the. I, I, yeah. I I'm sure I saw it. That Supermarkets. That's how they sold it. There was no plastic bottle. It was always a metal can, and you had to take the. The, the can opener that you open, like, not I like know what you mean, yeah. the one that you, like, punch a triangle into it. And you had to do it on both sides so the air could escape so it could pour out. And that's yep. how, and then when we when we didn't finish it, we just <sighs> put, like, aluminum foil over it and put it in the... Yeah, you always had to put that cellophane with the yeah. rubber band or whatever the hell there you it was. Go, babe. Um, but, yeah, but juice box, I think, high C. Uh, I, and then juice pouch, you know. There is no other juice pouch, though. You're imitated often. High C is imitated often. I don't know another... I, I guarantee you Capri Sun probably has a patent... Well, I am high C, okay? Uh, Sal is Capri Sun, as he just alluded to. Uh, I'm going to come right out of the gate and say, uh, we got your beat because... Ecto Cooler? I saw Ecto Cooler just now as Pip was Googling. And, I mean, for a major franchise brand to cling on to your to your drink, I mean, your, your drink's doing pretty well at that point. There had to be some major collabs with Capri Sun. Uh, and I got to tell you, the Ecto Cooler next to high C Orange... To me, it was life. I mean, high, the Ecto Cooler was so good. Dude. I agree. It was so good. I agree. Uh, but, but I love both of these, but I think it's, if you're going to talk about the Titan King, the Queen, Bish of all, High C Orange and High C Fruit Punch, I mean, I don't think anybody is even flexing with those. The thing two. about it is is that when I think of High C, sure, I'm like, that's a big one, but when I think of High C and you think of juice boxes, one million companies from the organic companies to everywhere in between have juice boxes. So when you say a kid has a juice box, it's no longer synonymous to me with high C. The juice box could be any single company, any single flavor, any single, not even geared toward kids necessarily. When I say the pouch, there's only one, one, one thing I think of, that's Capri Sun. Pimp. Nobody is, it's, it's, it, you're duplicated is, and imitated. Capri Sun is not. Oh, look at this. Bad. Uh, Capri Sun has a, 
with your precious pouch. Long history of mold. Look at that. That's mold in the bottom of the pouch, dude. That's disgusting. But that I is mean, disgusting. I've never encountered that. And like, wh- I'm sure you could put in mold in a juice box and find that as well. Uh, it now, went viral. Like they're yeah, they got caught with a lot of mold. It did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, that's the first one amongst us who is without sin cast the first stone. <laughs> A mom's, a mom told a story of her 10-year-old boy drinking from his Capri Sun. He started choking and said, oh, mommy, this is nasty, <laughs> which is also something I said to my date last week. Hey, folks, listen, anyway. Uh, <laughs> she couldn't. You said to your date, oh, mommy, this is nasty? Yeah. Okay. Like a dirty talk joke. Oh. Like having sex. Oh, mommy, this is oh, nasty. Oh, that's good. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Capri Sun. I'm glad Hey Babe got the energy today. Listen, Capri- I look forward to seeing that episode. <laughs> book, <laughs> book first. I did book first. No, 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 no. We both are on low energy. You moved here because of your low energy. You're the first one and, to point it out. By the way, you skipped this part where he pulled a worm out of his mouth drinking Capri Sun. <laughs> that was a genuine gag. That's yeah. disgusting. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, my God. That's so gross. Yeah, but that's, this is not tarnishing Capri Sun's image on the whole in this argument. I mean, I could find... it's tarnishing. Ta- ta- I mean, you could Google any single food and be like, you know, rat in it, worm in it, mold in it, and you're, it's going to pull up. It's, this is not... I'm not going to... I'm not going to associate Capri Sun with a moldy bag, and, and that's it. It's out the window. Well, now. hold on a second. These occurrences are not very rare, given that they've kept happening over the years. Most recent response from the company is a bit of a head-scratcher. On September 2018, an irate dad posted on Facebook, so tonight after dinner, our oldest asked for some juice, Capri Sun. I grab one from the refrigerator and notice something odd about it. It seemed low in content. I take a closer look at the packaging and don't notice a hole or anything. I shake it up some, only to find an unknown substance floating in the package. Uh, What is Capri Sun's response, though? Uh, What's the substance? Mold. Mold. Uh, the mean, company Google told mold in ice in juice box. The company it. told today in a statement that this was an isolated case. The uh, the author then writes in parentheses, uh huh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and they doubled down, saying, "We understand it's unpleasant, but the mold is naturally occurring, just like if you left an apple on your counter <laughs> for too long. That's the come on. This is bad was luck. It, was the Capri Sun expired? I don't need uh, this person. I, mean, I don't need the editorializing that this person is doing. It was so bad that they changed the bottom of the pouch to be see-through. They did? Yeah, permanently. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, Wait, it's a wise cha- move. <laughs> Wait, they changed it That's to see-through? Yeah, they made it transparent, the bottom of the Capri Sun. And then, you, and then they had mold in the see-through ones, which we saw earlier. Well, yeah, so no. you so, can spot it. But by so, the way, so, is so, it expired? So, Probably not. What is this guy buying Capri Suns a year in advance? You never know. Costco, BJ's. Big markets like that. Sam's Club. Listen. Fair enough. Listen, juice boxes are fun, right? I don't know when they came out, but I know that when they came into my life, a juice box is fun. There's something about the little bendy straw with the sharp edge that you poke through, and they're fun. And they were the most fun thing until Capri Sun dropped. And the pouch is more fun than the box. It just is. I love putting the straw through more. I love that you can squeeze the pouch in addition to sucking for the juice. Mm -hmm. And I love, love, love. I've never not. Finishing that pouch, sucking it till it's completely flat, and then blowing it back up to look full size and setting it back down again. There's something something in, in that process that just, I think that's what everyone latches onto. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you you can't have fun with a bladder. You can. Okay, I, I, you can, but I will say this: you got a gimmick, and that's all you got. I will say you could also use Capri Sun as a weapon if you need it. How the edges are very sharp. Oh, I say the edges of a juice box. First of all, I also crunch my juice box, and I do get it. I do get a feeling of satisfaction from that because it's more like a beer can crunch. It's more of a man's crunch. I've also reblown up a juice box. Uh, after I've done that, and it and it gives a very satisfying, almost crackle pop when you do so. Now, here's what I will say. In all honesty, and this is the, blo- the, the, the sucking it out and the blowing back up is Capri Sun all the way. Fine. Don't try to don't try to give the attribute to the box. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this with Capri Sun. 
Uh, and this is why the box is better. And by the way, we should we should focus on less waste for me. We should focus on not just the box because it's high C, not drink boxes. But I will say this is why the box is better. I'm putting the straw on the box. Ten out of ten, it happens. Capri Sun. I'm looking at a 60, 65% success ratio. We're getting that straw. That straw is a pain uh, you in gotta the know, You got to know what you're doing. And when you get, get it, in. the satisfaction is better. <clears throat> it, it, sati- it's satisfying to get it. And you got to know what you're doing. And when you know what you're doing, it goes into the first try. You actually feel accomplished. And at the end of it, the little treat of blowing it back up. It's a whole experience, a Capri Sun. An well, wait. What's, what, what's, but what's the strategy to get the this, this straw? Well, I like to hold firm on the bottom of the bag. So that the top is a little bit taut. And then you have to hit it with laser precision accuracy. Okay. I mean, and you can't do it soft. You have to follow through. Okay. Another thing I like about that is, is, is what you said before when you crush it, you remind me of garbage. I'm, con- I'm, I'm, I'm conscious. This is recyclable and it's much more of a, a less of a carbon footprint. What? A Capri Sun flattened out is like a piece, sheet of, small piece, sheet of loose leaf. By the way, your big bulky carton is is Capri is, Sun are, are really bad for the environment. <laughs> Yo, Bim, <babe>, chill. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure cartons are too. Why? Because they're straws. Because no, I mean, because of the plastic pouch, buddy. You're talking it's not about plastic. Mine is cardboard. Yeah. Mine is if cardboard. You Google our juice box is bad for the environment. You're gonna find the same article. No, you're not. Cardboard. They started putting water in cardboard can, uh, cartons instead of bottles because of this. Cardboard is the best thing you could, the best type of portable container you could drink something out of. You, you've got a, you've got a thing. I'm not sure if it's aluminum. I'm not sure if it's, if it's plastic. I don't know what the hell that pouch is made out of. Do you? I don't. I think it's aluminum. No. If, if there's wax on it, five years. If there's wax on the coating of the cardboard. And it, and there is, my friend. Five years to decompose. All right, what's the decompose? Five years of a, to decompose. Yeah, what's the decompose of a of a, a Capri Sun? Instant, yeah. baby. You're recycling that shit. You're you're recycling uh, that shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure every every six year old is very uh, eco conscious and making sure these go into the recycling bin. Capri Sun. Look at that! In th- wait, pimp! You wait, wait! In three hundred years, you will be gone and forgotten. But the Capri Sun, but the Capri Sun you drank in third grade will still be in a landfill. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What is it comprised of? Uh, something terrible. I don't know. Plastic. It's plastic. Plastic. It's plastic. That's what it said. Yeah. Hmm. On my worst day, five years. On your best day, twenty. So let's start there. Let's start with can I, what? Make an, can I say something else? Orange, you're right, and, and nectar cool, you're right, right? But that's, I mean, you could say, fruit I guess, punch, fruit punch. Babe, come on. But but after that, I mean, I really think Capri Sun is more uh, creative with their flavors. I dare you to name me three Capri Sun flavors. Sorry, Wait. here's the, the real. Also, the original Capri Sun, I put up against those. Well, hold on. Made of layers of plastic and aluminum, the drink pouch is difficult or impossible to recycle, according to a coalition of environmental groups. And as of 2015, a jaw-dropping 1.4 billion pouches ended up in U.S. landfills. This is a, How do they know this that is a blight on How, humanity. How do they know that number? They only know that number because that's what was manufactured, and they're saying it's not getting broken down. Is that no, what? They're just- <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> fake news, Joe. It's fake news. <laughs> Dude, it is it's also that's more the truth. Who makes Capri Sun? Let's go up the ladder on okay, these. I'll tell you this too. You leave a you leave a high C juice box in the sun for an hour, two hours, three hours, five hours, I would still drink it and not wear it. It'd be gross because it'd be hot. If you left the Capri Sun in the sun. The same thing, Joe. No, dude. It's got hours, aluminum in it. In five and plastic, hours. Plastic, dude. In five hours. I'm just telling sun, you. It's not like it's not, nothing happened I'm to the Capri Sun you. that didn't happen to the high C. And I have a question. As, as far as that goes, how does every when it's in shipment, isn't it red hot in the back of a truck anyway? Oh, probably. Yeah. But I would. T- but but what you just said is false, and here's why it's false. Vinyl records that you listen to, they will warp within at times in in direct sunlight, not even extreme heat, just direct sunlight. They can warp within a few hours. Literally within a few hours. If that can happen, that Capri Sun sitting in hot sunlight for a long time, yeah, I'm not drinking it. Same reason why I won't drink coffee out of styrofoam. Huh? I mean, I I can't give you that comparison. 
that a, that a, that a, that an LP, like a vinyl record, warps in a few hours. All right, then I'll give you something better. We can get off the environment. I'll give you this. Now these two drinks, these two drinks have worked their way into this. Is it? They're in, right? You got Capri Suns and Lunchables. Period. Boom. Right. Nice collab. And, and then every every fountain. Or I'm sorry. Every um. So what's that? Is that the fountain? Yeah, fountain soda. Fountain. In a fast food place. Of any kind that has an orange drink, it's it's almost exclusively high. That seat. is because it's owned by the Coca Cola Company. I'm positive. Okay, that's fine. But my so, point I don't know, is that's why I have to go up the ladder because who does who owns Capri Sun? Here's my point though. Right here. I, uh, okay. A, a German company. The Germans made it in '69. Oh God, you're it's looking worse and yeah, worse but, for uh, you. It's independent. It, it's independent. <laughs> uh, uh, you hey, got a Nazi owned like, company over can here. Can I say something else? <laughs> there's a there's a fun allegedly. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's a fun yeah. there's a fun um, tactile feeling. To an unopened Capri Sun as well. There's a weight to the bag. I, I dare you to have it in your hand and not like kind of toss it in the air and catch what, it. What, what are you talking? What the hell are you talking about what right now? What do you now? mean? It's almost like it's almost like a. Um, what are you talking again, about? Again, you know what you could do? This is what are you talking about? You know, you can play cornhole with a Capri Sun. You can't play cornhole with a juice box of high C. He's on the road, folks. That. You can't play folks, cornhole with a juice box of high C. He's got to do a 20-minute set later tonight. He already told us his, he's shot. He's shot. It's been too long no, of a I really day. Do, I really do like holding a Capri, Capri Sun. It's a nice, it's a perfect weight to it. It is. It's just fun. You, I, I, it's fun to like kind of like uh, it's, smush it around. Let me get back to my point. It's fun to was, smush it around. Let me get back to my point, which is these two drinks, these two juice drinks, right, are the only, these are the two. Grim is cracking up, man. Yeah, yeah. No, it's funny. These are the two. That <laughs> no, have, I don't know why. They've made. I speak the truth. You sound you insane love, right now. Every food <laughs> somehow ends up in your hand that shaking. combos. <laughs> Name the third, Pimp. No, you're going to pile on. Nuts. I mean, trail mix. You say it about every, you say it about M&M's. This is bad shit. You every no, food you why. walk like around shaking that. it in I your like hands. I like to do that. We've had we've had 114 battles covering 228 foods. I've said it about four foods. No, <laughs> no, no. I think no. Ten, to- ten times maybe. But I like that. I do. I like. I like. But here, listen to my. Listen, let me make this point. It's part these of how two, I consume. These two juice drinks are the two titans. Yours are in Lunchables. Mine are, are at the soda fountains. Okay. With that in mind. I challenge you to name a flavor of Capri Sun that is as popular as High C Orange. Capri Sun. I gotta go original. They don't have a staple flavor that you go, holy shit, that's the move. The Ridge. What is the Ridge? I don't even know what the Ridge is. But you know what it is. I mean, you drank it. They've come a long way. I mean, I'm not up to date on my Capri Sun flavors. I mean, maybe a fruit punch, (laughs) which we started. You know, or, or high, maybe, maybe. Blind taste test, babe. We didn't start, but. Blind taste test to 100 people. Are they liking Capri Sun or the high C better? I miss that Capri Sun, by the way. Scroll it back up, pimp. I think Capri Sun has a orange. I, I haven't seen, I haven't seen just the regular flavors of Capri Sun in a long time. Yeah. That are just straight up the, the one fruit. Uh-huh. Okay. They're getting too schmantz now. What, what Everything is like Mystic Breeze and all this shit. Yeah, they you know are. what I mean? Can you tell me what the original uh, uh, Capri Sun flavor is comprised of? They had better commercials as well. Wow, Capri Sun is now doing alcohol? Great jingle. Oh, wow. They're expanding. They're really growing and expanding and pushing it the soils envelope. the brand. I, I don't they're like that they're the doing that. No, it doesn't. Because all of us who drank Capri Sun as a kid now have a reason to access it again at our age right now. Yeah, that's great. And I'm sure all the drunks will be recycling their pouches what, as what they it stumble say? Can to you the read that, Joey? 1969, Capri Sun is born under its former name Capri Sun, S-O-N-N-E, exclamation point. For the very first time, a beverage in a stand-up pouch is sold in Germany. The first flavors are lemon and orange. Orange, yeah, I thought it was orange. Uh, ew, lemon, not lemonade, lemon. I, well, no, that's ew. in sixty something. What is like, you know, when it came to us, I thought it was, I thought it had an orange. Oh no, it's also filled with stevia. That that <laughs> that like. Well, what do you th- what do you think? I see is filled with. Aspartame, Stevie, I'm sure it's the same thing. Pimp, just, just to, I mean, look up high C then. Look, uh, you, there's artificial sweeteners in high C. It's not the fucking, it's not mother's milk organic fucking bullshit. Look at this, dude. First of all, right out of the gate, high C. Here's the other two names I'm seeing Minute Maid and 
which is, by the way, the other big juice box thing that you're saying is right is is Minute Maid is the other big one. Uh, what is, high, what is, is same company is and Coca Cola? Is he a, a, a marketing ploy to tell you that it has vitamin C in it? Oh, that is low down, dirty, and a shame. Plus, my that ch- is wild to tell kids to insinuate that the C in high C stands for vitamin C, and to high. make it to make them act like it might be nutritional for them to have is is literally a crime. It's a crime. Capri Sun doesn't do that, babe. We had gum, we had gum, we had high C gum. There's a rapper named after High C. High C is, you know, I mean. You, high C? Yeah. You mean vitamin C? No, there's a rapper named after High well, C. I'm sure there's one named Capri Sun. Guarantee there's not. Capri Sun? McDonald's headlines were made when McDonald's restaurants announced that. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> yeah, read we're it. Dis- read it. We're discontinuing <laughs> High C Orange. Lava burst. <laughs> Lava burst. God, lava. Like, you you blame me for Mystic Breeze? You have lava burst. <laughs> it sounds sexual. Uh, from their beverage menu, we're replacing it with carbonated Sprite Tropic Berry Flavor Soda and Fanta as part of a new promotional deal with Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola said we're going to pull it out. McDonald's announced that High Sea Orange Lava Burst will officially be returning, baby! <laughs> <laughs> High C Ecto Cooler drink appears in season four of Rick and Morty, season something of Loki, the bear. Uh, <laughs> well, Ecto Cooler is pop culture for sure. Oh, uh, Ecto Cooler is the joint. Uh, okay, I, what, what is the is the Capri joint? Sun is for what people is, that actually did fun things. High C is for McDonald's Can kids that look at abandoned ditches. Oh wow, wow. Um, okay. Can you read me the artificial sweeteners in high C, please? Yes. And do you have anything to say about the marketing of high C? Can I pause? That you is for a that is very criminal. You know that, right? To make children well, believe that they, parents to believe like, oh, give, oh no, it's it getting his vitamin C. It said originally that's where it came from in 1946. Okay, that, you know, it's you like, just blame Capri Sun for like, being oh, Nazis Coca-Cola, in 1960. Coca Cola doesn't have cocaine in it anymore. That's still what it was named after. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure that's still what they're going for. I don't think so. I think we're all pretty aware Let, of this. Go point. to High C's Wikipedia page. Let's, let's Do you see. smell delicious spaghetti sauce right now, like tomato gravy? No. Like wafting in from outside? No. I do. Where do you think that's coming from? I don't. Uh, maybe a local restaurant? It does. Made by Minute Maid, division of Coca Cola. So you guys got big guns behind you already. My guy's scrappy, a DIY guy. There's no one above him. Capri Sun is Dude, this Capri is, Sun. This is, High C has the Death Star behind it, bro. We're, we're, we're Wu Tang over here. It says that High C Orange does contain 100% of the recommended daily value of vitamin C. Right. It is also made with real fruit fruit, artificial sweeteners, and other natural flavors. All so. right. So what's the, Capri Sun? The, the, the 100% of vitamin C is such bullshit. <laughs> It's, I mean, it has it, but they throw it in there. But they said it's it; terrible. they wouldn't lie to us. Good people cook. But the point is lie. that they're doing that. They're doing that <laughs> to make it look like the thing is good for kids to drink, and it's not. It's got 100 percent of your vitamin C in it. These little cartons may deliver all. No, oh, that's that's high C. What's what's in uh, Capri Sun? High C sun? is only 10 percent juice. 25 grams of sugar in a 6.75 ounce pouch of high C. All right, there's Capri Sun 100% juice variety pack. Let's, let's go down to it. Is there really? There you go. I love it. I want to see what it says. Wait, Pip. No, no. Yeah. Okay, okay. High C has more sugar per ounce than a regular Coke. Okay. Capri Sun 100% juice variety pack. All natural ingredients, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Interesting. Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see it. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I want it. I want pimp, please. Uh, uh, it, <laughs> yeah, it's just like an ad for something. I just want to see what it is. It's uh, go, but pimp, scroll down here. Right? Is there a? Uh, is there an ingredient? You know, does one of the pictures have the nutri- the nutrition uh, list? That's what I'm looking for. Ingredients: apple, grape, and strawberry juices from Concentrate. Never good. It's a hundred percent juice, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives, and no high fructose corn syrup. What it says, give from, me a fucking hold on. Break, when it bro. says from concentrate, what what what's in the concentrate? Because sometimes they get away with a, a little sneaky thing that way. Uh, Joe, just give it up, Joe. High C is ten percent fruit juice with artificial flavors. Concentrate oh. is a bad thing. 
Fruit juice from country is made of <laughs> from mostly fresh fruit. Fruit country is produced by filtering water out and fruit pulp. Concentrate product is stored under aseptic and non-aseptic and frozen so, conditions. What's so bad about that? What's so bad about that? Unless additional sweeteners are added, you may be surprised to hear that juice from concentrate and juice from not concentrate have the same nutritional value unless additional sweeteners are added. So no, how no, do no, I know? No, 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 you, you read yourself into a hole. I, let's be honest. Just be honest. We all watched it. I'm going to the chair. All right, go to the chair. <laughs> Sometimes I hope you would go to the chair. <laughs> go ahead. What? What? Be honest about what? What do you want to be honest about? You read yourself into a hole. That was all positive stuff about the Capri Sun. Okay. We don't know what the concentrate is in. Is in the concentrate. You're going to hang your dumb hat on that? We don't know. You were talking a big game, and you said it's loaded with all this stuff, and you just read that it's actually, and High C can't make any of those claims. Okay? That's a a strike for you and a positive for me. You can admit it. All right. It's going to happen. All right. Mind you get 100% of your vitamin C. And by the way, this hundred percent all and natural. Diabetes. This hundred percent of your all natural juice Capri Suns. I've never seen one of those in the goddamn wild in my life. Not once. <laughs> and those aren't the ones they're packing in the lunchables, my fine feathered friend. Okay. You don't know that. They're you not. Don't know, you don't know that. I still eat lunchables. I do know that. <laughs> you don't know that. Yes, I well, do. Well, then you have bigger problems. <laughs> You don't know what they're packing in there, and you never see one in the wild. They exist. We just pulled them up. They sell them at Walmart, buddy. I've pulled the tropical breeze out of that fucking Lunchable more than anything I, I could ever remember. All right, I'm telling you. I don't know, man. I think, I think, I, I think I have some pretty good points on my side. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I guess so. Uh, we didn't but, mention the jingle in the commercials. Capri Sun had better marketing. They did. I don't remember what the Capri Sun Capri jingle Sun, is. Capri Sun, the one. Of them. Sounds memorable. But, but uh, Capri Sun, give me the Capri Sun. <laughs> Hi, C. What do you got? I got to be honest with you, dude. I don't know that I've ever seen a high C commercial. <laughs> it just, it was always there. It's like the sun. It just was there. I know. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> Original Capri Sun. All natural. Right on the banner, bitch. I got to say. Yeah. Only one. See how the kid couldn't get the thing in? They show it when in you the commercial. Punch open one. He couldn't get the straw in. They show it in the where, commercial. Where, 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 where? Rewind it. That was in 84. There's only one. Hold on, watch. Right there. Right there. That's right right he was looking at that ass. By the way. They got children, don't, don't, ogling what? children in this commercial. <laughs> they got 10-year-olds in bikinis. This is weird. Don't, you tried to sell it like he couldn't get it in because of the way that it was manufactured. They just, he was watching yeah, that hot piece of Capri eggs. Capri Sun just did a Lenny and Squiggy. Uh, <laughs> was that a, was that a the, kid? or the little was that, a, was, that a kid, opening. was that a kid or a woman that walked by? Can we it go back to child. that? Slow it down, please. Slow it down. It's We're, a kid, go and back, they're go back. showing its ass. Go back, go back, go back. Let's see. We don't know what that is. Buddy, that's... Okay, we'll keep playing to when they show the kids in the bikinis. I promise that's one of them. See? That's, that's a not different her. bikini. But I don't see any adults in this commercial. They didn't have yeah, a single adult in the commercial. Yeah. Yeah, except the one that walked by. I will give they you this. They didn't show their face. They only show their toys. I will give you this. <laughs> I see is just more a, a of... A 12-year-old kid is not allowed to like, like a 12-year-old girl? They didn't look 12, Bob. I got 11? 10? <laughs> Nine, eight, nah, bro, nah. six, seven, five, nah, four, three, two, alone. one. They're at the beach alone. They're at the beach alone flying kites. Uh, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. When it comes to 80s. There's only one Capri Sun. Like 80s, like, wow, that's 80s. And 90s, like, rad, dude. 90s, baby. Capri Sun takes the cake. Yeah. High C is much more touches your heart as a child. You know, running through the grass with the sprinklers on, that kind of thing. What are you? What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? What are you doing? Why? How could you? That? What, what, how are you drawing a comparison of that? High C is touches your heart. It's like running through the grass. And with the I'm saying when on. I think of high C, I think more of like of like the purity of childhood. And Capri Sun, I think of more fun. Like, oh man, I remember when I was in high school. Like 
seeing a commercial like that and getting excited to drink high C. Uh, I mean, uh, Capri Sun. You're me. attaching high C to. Okay, I don't know. I'm giving Capri Sun credit and okay. saying like a high C commercial would not give me the vibes I got. You gonna from I, seeing the children in their bathing suits? <laughs> <laughs> no, I guarantee you what we're gonna see. I, I think a lot in uh, when we go to the phones is that you're gonna see a lot of ecto cooler talk. And, yes, and that's all you're gonna. That's a majority of what you're gonna say. I feel. I feel. All right, let's you go. Take to the away ecto cooler. You knock down a couple of pedestals, if we're being honest, with high C. No, you take away the ecto cooler. No, the ecto cooler is an orange, but the ecto cooler is right but there. You can't, it's a left and a right fist. Babe, you take away, put you one fist behind your back. If you're taking away, ecto you cooler. can't roll your eyes at high C orange. High C orange is the Coca Cola of juices. I'm, not, I'm just saying, like you, it's the one. I'm just saying, you take away that ecto cooler, and you are not as formidable. You're just not. So a lot of stock I would say it's like lies saying, in ecto cooler, not high C. I would say it's like saying if you took away Coke Zero or Cherry Coke, Coke is not as formidable. I don't agree with that. High C Orange is a titan, dude. There is never high C anything else on that fountain ever, 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 ever. And I know you make fun for, that I bring up McDonald's a lot, but it is the biggest restaurant chain in the world, and that is on every fountain, dude. Yeah, because they that, signed a deal with Coca Cola. It's not because of any other reason. They have Coca Cola products. You think you think Mc, you think McDonald's won't kick a bitch to the curb if she's not. You, you apparently think, not. You think, you think, apparently not. You think McDonald's won't kick a bitch in the curb? I, I, I don't think they do. I don't know about that, bro. Please, dude. They never have. Dude, they did. They got rid of Icy Orange when it was time for Sprite. Oh, so they kicked a bitch to the curb. And they brought the Icy bitch Orange, back. little bitch. And they brought the Icy bitch Icy Orange, back. little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chris Rock, Selective Outrage. Um, I like this comment. Which one, uh, Capri one. Sun, because stabbing a little pouch with a straw really cured a lot of anger issues for me as a five-year-old. I get it. I said it's something about it's. It's an experience. It's therapeutic. It's cathartic. Wait, wait, wait. Scroll back up, pimp. Just one. If high C is good enough for McDonald's, it's good enough for me. Thank you, All right. sir. All right. Damn, I couldn't see. I'm who throwing wrote it. in those <laughs> those plastic bottles. Okay. Okay. Every single poll, I you. You just did. I. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why did you keep. Oh, Hi, no, it was, it was going lame. nowhere. Oh, okay. Uh, High C is for pores. High C is for pores. <laughs> that always, oh, for pores always <laughs> makes me laugh every time. <laughs> if I wanted to drink a oh. box of shit, I'd stick a straw in the cat's litter box. Bye bye. You missed that. High C is more versatile, even great frozen. Oh, that's interesting. I never did that. High C Ecto Cooler, enough said. Hey, McDonald's has one of those. Thank you. High C, I only know it as the orange drink for McDonald's. Thank you. What do you mean, thank you? I mean, it's 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 the Coca-Cola of juice drinks. Capri Sun takes me back to sitting by the pool with my sister in the summertime. High C tastes like chaos. Chaos. I've seen people mix high C and cherry NyQuil at a college party. Into jungle juice, that's the trash you get from high C. You guys would think differently if you saw the, what color Capri Sun is. Looks gross outside, that impenetrable pouch. Hmm. That is true. I have spilled Capri Sun before, and it is not the color you think it's going to be. It comes out, it's like, it almost like, like, like a lot of times it's like a urine color. Even though it tastes like cherry strawberry-ish. If you drink Capri Sun, you're above the age 12. I'm calling the police. Capri That's Sun funny. is way more fun. Got to respect the pouch. Ecto Cooler. Stan. By the way, that's the first Ecto Cooler I've seen. No, I said one before. If Joe picked Capri Sun, he doesn't really like McDonald's. Well, he didn't. Capri Sun doesn't make my mouth feel weird. Easy choice. Back in the day, Peach High C was the shit. I don't know it. Capri Sun all day long, boy. Capri Sun comes with the extremely satisfying moment when you get to stab your straw in the container. High C is for babies. Capri Sun is, cl is class. High C is 100% trash. I don't, I'm not High C is nothing without Ecto Cooler. Please. I'm not getting, though, I'm not getting why <laughs> High C is the Joe DeRosa of the juice world. I'll, I'll take it. I'm not getting why people are saying High C. More like FC. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get rid of the taste. Uh, no one. Well, all right. A couple more. 
I don't know who, whose flavor that is. High C because McDonald's. High C orange is king. Thank you. <clears throat> Capri Sun all day. I can rock high C, but I have to go with Capri Sun. When we were kids, having Capri Sun in the fridge gave you some clout. For whatever reason, the high C juice boxes made you feel younger and less cool. Interesting. I want to give the v- win to this guy that just wrote V8 exclamation point. <laughs> I think that's funny, right? Yeah. Uh, you go with that, Sal? Yeah, yeah, baby. Follow at MJ Hill E G A S seven nine. Thanks, Michael. Now I already voted, so I'm not going to scroll up until you guys are ready. Okay. All right, we're ready. This is it. Humble pie segment. We're going to the phones. Throw, roll out that pie chart, pimp. Whoa, whoa, yo, eighteen thousand votes. Capri Sun sixty six point six to thirty three point four. It's the devil. Six six six. <laughs> wow. Six six six, babe. Yeah. That's that's. Du- I don't exa- understand how that's that- exactly double sixty six to thirty three. I doubled you, Capri Sun. Did. I don't understand how they lost that badly, and I don't get where all you're the not high giving C- Capri Sun the props it deserves. But I also don't get why High C is getting labeled as trash. I don't. I never got a trashy vibe from I C. It's like juicy. It's a very accessible. I think, where I think punch it, is more. It's very trashy. accessible. Whereas I think Capri Sun sold in like an eight pack of pouches. Probably was marked up a little higher. And like maybe everyone that you know, if you had to choose the more affordable drink, maybe it was High C. That's what I can gather. It's just it's you, you, yours is silvery like jewelry. It sexualizes children. You are. It's <laughs> it's the devil's drink, undoubtedly. I mean, but whatever. That's what this is. What happens? All right. Uh, I mean, I'm just racking up the W's. I, he yeah. picks him. He picks him. Just said you said it. high C was a beast that was going to kill. I thought so. All right. Well, I still love you, babe. Love you too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking.